Organizations continue to fight against the opioid crisis nationwide, including here in the city of Cleveland. The Drug Enforcement Administration will be hosting its annual Family Summit, giving anyone the chance to learn how opioids have impacted families firsthand. Amaya Lockett has more on the reason behind this event. We're just losing everybody. Um, that comes across fentanyl. Matthew Gomez did not know much about fentanyl when his 19-year-old son, Miles, died due to fentanyl poisoning in 2021. Miles was a great kid, um, super smart, super uh, energetic, and with a great personality. Um, he loved to read. Um, he loved music. He taught himself how to play guitar. That's when Matthew and his wife decided to educate themselves, and now they work to spread awareness in Cleveland. We started doing outreach and trying to help people um, that are currently going through issues. Using their personal experience with drug overdose to educate and help prevent other families from going through the same tragedy. He was taking something that he didn't know had fentanyl in it, and that's everything. Everything now has fentanyl in it. So you have no idea what you're taking. In 2023, there were more than 3,500 deaths in Ohio due to fentanyl. According to the DEA, 349 of those deaths were in Cleveland. The DEA has a great slogan, one pill can kill. Um, unfortunately, there's not one pill to fix it. The one pill can kill campaign is to bring awareness to the significant nationwide surge in counterfeit pills that are marketed as legitimate, but killing Americans. A lot of efforts have been made to try to mitigate that and to do a lot of work in prevention. So uh, theoretically, the number should be higher, but for the good work that people are doing in community organizations and across DEA to try to get the word out. Like the DEA's Family Summit happening Saturday, where they will put names and faces to a drug crisis. People will hear from families who have lost loved ones to drug overdoses or drug poisoning. Some of the information being presented there is going to be specific to families, things to look for, what, what the threat is in the community. Um, there's no, no better place to start than the home for parents to understand what the threat is, know what their children are facing, and then spread that knowledge. Showing people that fentanyl deaths are not limited by age, race, or economic background. Uh, the people that are dying are all over the place. It's, it's moms, dads, grandmas, sons, daughters. Anyone is welcome to the Family Summit at 7 p.m. in Cleveland Public Square. Maya Lockett, News 5. And this is such an important story for so many people and families in our community. So our coverage continues at 6 o'clock. Our Clay Lepard is speaking with a man who lost his son to an overdose in 2015. And that dad was awarded $30 million in a case involving a manufacturer in China. But exactly how much of that money has he actually gotten? Clay has that story at 6.